welcome back to my channel. It's the same beans color with me. In this video, we'll be doing the end of the month pages for May. So I think I did a pretty, pretty much lot of pages. I, I really wanted to color some more flowers, which I didn't get the chance to do. But I wanted to try some other books and some easy stuff. But anyway, um, let's get started. Um, before I get started, let me say thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank you for the new subscribers. Thank you for my current subscribers for staying with me for this for such a long time. And um, if you like the video at the end, don't forget to press that like button. If you would like the channel, subscribe. And leave a feel free to leave a comment. No problem. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I'll get to it as I can. Alright, so thank you for watching. Let's get started. <laughs> I can't wait to show you my pages. I don't know which book to start with. Which one should I start with? Okay. Let's see here. Well, most of the ones I did was... I think some of the ones I did was for... Um, was hashtags from... From Instagram. But... Let's get started. This is Floral Wonders. Color Art for Everyone. Okay, this is page. I had started this page a long, long time ago and finally finished it. So with this page, I used the, the brush tip markers that you've probably seen in my other video, the Mancola dual brush pens. I love these. I love that. Invest in these. I love these. I love these brush pens because it's almost like painting and it's easier and faster to color a page. So, um, yeah, so I just did different color. I started with this color. I think, did I put a little glitter in? I hope y'all can see this because, you know what, I'm not even near the window, so it's kind of awkward over here where I'm sitting. Oh, I forgot the color in this little part. <laughs> so, yeah, I, did that. I, think, I think I did a little glitter pieces in there. Hopefully you can see that. I should open the curtain. I don't know. And I did this page here. Oh, I did this page for the hashtag. It was... Bees Chelsea Flower Show Coloring. That would buy Bees Bee Bee Coloring. Bees Coloring. This color flower. That's why I said I wish I would have colored more flowers for. Her. I totally I forgot about her tag, and I did it at the last minute. And also, I finally I didn't know how to color this. I just colored it all green. <laughs> yeah. I just colored it all green. Use different green colors. That's it. I did not know how to color this page because they have some awkward flowers in this book. It's a pretty good book. Simple. If you want to start it off, the um, pages is real thick as you can hear it. So, um, this was a long time ago. When I did this one, oh, this was 2021. I did, that's when I had the favorite Castile pencils. They look pretty good in here. Um, this is a whip here. I don't know how to finish this. I guess I'll continue using the pencil. So I think I was using the um, castle arts. Here, I'm just messing around on this one here. This is another whip that I did. Just messing around. This, uh, this was, oh, this was 2022. Here, I started out. See how close these flowers are in this book? I don't know how to color that. But um, yeah, I started this one. I have to finish this one. I used the brush pens. I was trying to, I was checking to see how the markers go through, but this paper is so thick. The markers don't go through, brush pens don't go through, so. And this is pretty nice. But the only thing about this paper, this paper will dry your markers out. It's, that's how thick it is. I might color this one next. See how close the flowers is? It's like so close together. This one, oh, I did that one. That was 2022. This one here is... I don't know how to finish this one. <laughs> These flowers are so weird. I started this one. So just this, this one I did what? 2022. Oh, I used the Fable Castle Arts for this one here. But um, yeah, so the flowers just is kind of weird. That's all. It's, it's a pretty decent book. So as you see again, let you see it again. These are two pages that I did. All right. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. 
Okay, let's do okay, let's do the flowers one. Okay, this was uh not a PDF, but it was free pages creative behavior when you sign up to the um it's sticky over here. I was eating over here. <laughs> I was signed up to the um Dobo Publications. You have to know they'll send you free samples. So I printed this out, the beautiful language of flowers. Coloring book by John Green. And um, this is the first piece of it. They are different flowers. I like, I wish I could get the regular book. I think I gotta get this book. This is the Forget Me Not True Love. I did this also for Bees Coloring. Flower um, tag. And the um, it was a wedding tag too. I wish I could have done more for hers. I ended up spilling something. I don't know what that was. I'll be eating my coloring. Probably my orange. Oh, okay. So this was Forget Me Not. I used the uh, Castle Arts. Came out pretty good. I like the way this came out. And did the background. I just did a little background with the pencil. And I wanted to do all of these. This one, I love, love this one. This is Daffodil New Beginning. This was also for the um, the flower tag by B. Cozy. And, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, I should have done this one for the wedding one. I use Castle Arts. I messed up here. It's supposed to be all yellow. <laughs> I'm thinking these were the leaves, but the definitely was supposed to be yellow. But it looks cute. I like the way. Maybe it's just now ripening up. <laughs> Um, the little bushes, I did some little, I guess it's supposed to be like little berries or flowers in the back. I wish I could have did the background a little bit better, but it is what it is. I finally did some water here, make it look clear like it's a glass, because I did not know how to do this. But, um, uh, yeah, I love this. I did like a wood frame. I always stick, every time I do window sills, I always do wood frame. I don't know, I'm, stick, I'm stuck on wood frames. Um... Yeah, I like this one. This one came out really nice. This is really nice. It's real bright. Did I do another one? Let's see. Oh, that's new. I didn't do another one. So, next time I'll just do um, this one here, the honeysuckle. You got the hip, hip, hippocus, hippocus. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Delicate beauty. It was only those two. Oh, and the Con Lubine Courage. I had to look this up and see. I never even heard of this flower here. All these I heard of. The honeysuckle. I never even heard of this one, the Columbine. So I had to find out the colors. I think it's, di it's different colors. And it's really shaped. So I like the fact that it's in the circle. That's really nice. But these are some beautiful. I wish I got to just put this in a frame. So I got to hold on to these. So this is the Creative Haven, The Beautiful Names of Flower, coloring book by John Green. And I really do want to get this book. Okay, let's do... Uh, I should have did the PDFs. All right, let me just go ahead and do this. This is Bold and Easy Large Print Coloring Book. you probably see me do the book review on this. I'm loving this book. Really, really loving this book. I did the front page, the intro. I used the um, bus tip markers. I love this. This is a fun book. This is like more of a relaxing book. I should have put some gel pen letter on here. And these are all the pages that everybody did. This was for the hashtag um, Color With Us, You Rock Art by Rosemary and KS Design. <coughs> Excuse me. If you want to join, feel free to join. It's an open collaboration. Make sure you check out um, Rosemary You Rock Art. Check out the channel. She explains everything. It's up. Everything, if you want, you can get the book. If you don't have the book, you don't have to get the book. I just wanted to. This was more like a Mother's Day gift for myself. So let's start with the first page. So I went ahead and did this page here because they already did half of these pages already starting, I think it was February. So I was like, let me just do some of these pages. I think I did this one for, um, oh, Coloring Party with Friends. Also, that's another open collab party, 
Coloring Party with Friends 2023. That's another open collab hosted by Grandma Sandy and Crafting with Pat. So make sure you check out Grandma Sandy and Crafting with Pat and they'll explain the whole thing too. Just upload on Mondays. Any page as long as it's appropriate for you too. Any coloring book. It doesn't matter. But I did that for that tag. Um, I use oh, brush tip markers. Yeah, I use brush tip markers. This here, my marker ran. Was this a pencil? No, the super tip. I think I had a super tip. And it ran out of ink. But I like the way it, it looks like it's antique. And I like the way when I was coloring. Like it was drying out. But I like the way that looks. <laughs> And as you see here, glitter, I use glitter, the gel pens, and outside I did the crayons. Butterfly, also use gel pen and the brush tip markers. And on the outside I use the crayons. Give it a frame looking and the little dots I used, the um, jelly roll. So, I don't know if you can see it. Alright. Let's go to the next one. Also did the fog. This was for uh, last... No, this... This week, month. Today's Friday. This was for Monday. This also for... Um, color with... Color and Create with Us. I always forget to create. Color and Create with Us. You rock art. <laughs> That's for that tag. I use, I wanted to do a rainbow fork, you know, like the forks that you're not supposed to touch, the dangerous forks. <laughs> They're so pretty, but you can't touch them. I wanted to try that, do different colors. I noticed everybody else did the different colors, and it was really nice. Just make sure you check out, check those out. Check out everybody else's pages. I got to go back and check out everybody else's pages. Because I didn't want to do the green, just like Crafting with Pat was saying. Everybody didn't really want to do the typical green. They wanted to add a little color to it, different colors to it. It, it looks nice. But, um... Yeah, I try to do like little raindrops or whatever on here with the glitter pen. I mean the jelly roll and the brush tip markers I use and try to do it. And oh, the back was the, oh, I just did use markers back there. Or was it pastel? No, I used markers. Yeah. All right, the next one. Okay, this one here, I did, um... I use the Castle Arts pencils. I wanted to do like a different rainbow color. So this was also, I did this one for the coloring party with friends. <coughs> mm. This stuff keep popping up on here. All right, coloring party with friends, excuse me for that. So, and then I try to outline it with the Jelly Roll metallic pen. And give it different colors. I like the way. I didn't want to do a typical. Um, I didn't want to do a typical red rose. Next one, jam. Still purple. There's some raspberry jam. <laughs> Outline. I did. Um, was this super tip or markers? There was a purple marker, the Crayola purple, the, um, the thick marker for the kids. I used that for the outline. And here I use gel pens to make it glow a little bit. Like if you have little black writings like this on your page, try to put the gel pen on those so it could pop out. I learned that. I was like, that. it looks a little bit better. Okay, I did the mushroom. Wait a minute. I did, it was two that I did. Mushroom. Gel pen. you probably seen me do the video on this already. Okay, this is the next page for, ne for Monday. For June, what, 5th? For the color and create with us, you rock art. <laughs> so this is the next page of color. If you have this book, if you don't, don't worry about it. You create this color. 
if you got a, a page with food on it, just do that. You can do it like that so you can feel like, okay, I'm doing the same page as everybody else. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. All right. And that was it. I did a flamingo. The brush tip markers kept it simple. That's a, a gel pens right here. I don't know if you can see it. And for the Mandela, this is also for my one color challenge. Purple for May. So anybody that joined the challenge, thank you for joining the one color challenge 2023. Um, <clears throat> it wasn't that many pictures for the purple one, but I'll try to make a little video for that one. So thank you to everybody who participated in that. Um, the color for June is yellow. June, July, I think June, July, and August, I think it's yellow. I got to double check, but I know June, July is yellow so you can use gold any yellow tones gold or whatever like that so that's what this for i just use gel pens and the bus tip markers and i think i use super tips too um also did this one here well this was been for march but <laughs> i just went ahead and colored it anyway I use crayons. Did I use crayons or markers? I mean, or pencil. I think I use crayons for this. Yeah, it was crayons and brush tip markers and gel pens for the, um, I don't know if you can see, for the coins. <laughs> and pencil, crayons around the edges. Yeah, my boys. Okay, the elephant that was also for the color and create with us, you rock all. That was the Monday before this Monday. The elephant, I did a gold trunk. Did use the pastels for the background. Just kept it simple. Use a gray. I was gonna do a pink elephant. So if somebody else did a pink elephant. It was like, oh, I was thinking, they was thinking the same thing I was thinking. I was gonna do it pink, but I was like, oh, let me just do it gray. Cause I gave him a gold. I gave him some a pretty trunk. <laughs> a gold trunk. So, and that will be it, yeah. So I guess the pages that they already done, I'm gonna do for the coloring party with friends. So yeah, I'm gonna do that for them. All right, so that was it. I gotta take these tags off of here. I gotta get some more of these tag things. All right. So let's go to Dreamland. Egwina McNamee. I hope I pronounced that right. Dreamland. I haven't colored in this book. I think I colored like one page. And I'm still working on one other page. So I was like, let me work in this book. Since I got the gel pens and the markers, like, duh. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm loving this book. Who, is, who, is who gave me this book? Oh, this was from Misty. That was for my, by my birthday. Um, so I'm still working on this page here. <laughs> I'm trying to do it like with this one here. I should just do my own thing because it's going to take me forever just to finish. Okay, let me just put these stickers here. Um, this was 2022. I did this one already. And hold on, let me make sure I ain't forget nothing. I'm almost done. What is it? I just passed right by it. This here, I'm almost finished. All I gotta do is the background. This is so cute. This is a whip. I have to finish this. This is so cool. I use crayons on here. It's so cute. <laughs> Purple and pink. So I just gotta figure out how to color this. I think I know how to color that now because I was trying to figure out how to color this out here, but I think I know now. I'll work on that this month. Okay, this one was for the Throwback Thursdays by Candace. Make sure you check out her channel. I'll put her um, link in below. She always do throwback, throwback Thursdays. Um, she had went away for a while. She was off YouTube for a minute. So it's good that everybody takes a break. You know, I'm glad she's back. 
So, um, I think she changed the channel name, but I know it's, I know her, her name is Candace. And, um, I'll put her link in b below and check out her channel and see if you like it. She do throwback. If you like throwback stuff, I do. I love the 80s. I'm an 80s fiend. An 80s baby sweet. No, 70s and 80s baby. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So I did this because she wanted to use crayons. So I did this whole page in crayons. Can you believe it? <laughs> whole page in crayons. Thank you, Candace, for bringing that back. <laughs> This whole page in crayon. I couldn't believe I can do it. And then I took the, to like smooth it out a little bit, I used the eraser. And you can use the eraser to erase the crayons. I was like, oh shoot. Because somebody mentioned that they didn't know that you can do that. I was like, I'm surprised. Because I know the pastels you can erase with the eraser. So good thing I had it. some erasers. A little, some pretty erasers I think that Shelby has sent me. Thank you, Shelby. <laughs> and, um, yeah. So I did this whole page in pencil. I mean, in um, crayons. It came out nice. I love this. But I was hesitant to use the gel pens. I wanted to use something <laughs> different. <laughs> I was like, just stick to the crayons. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so it came out pretty good. Only thing with the crayons is not sharpen. Like, I could sharpen. I do sharpen it sometimes, but... They get dull so fast, and then you can't get into the little corners. And I actually shade it with the um, with the crayons too. That was kind of fun. Use a light color and then use a dark color. I was like, oh, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, I love love this page. So that was for the hashtag Throwback Thursdays. I think 2023. I gotta get the right thing for this, right tag. Yeah. So check out Candace's page. I'll put her link in the description. She's so nice. I like I like watching her. And I finally I had started this and forgot all about this. I totally forgot this page. <laughs> now see this could have been for the one color challenge, and I had to give different colors every month. So I might change the one color challenge 2023 this this month this year. I know I said yellow, but if you want to do any other color besides yellow, but I would love to see some yellow pages. Feel free to do any other color. Because I was so hooked on doing one color. And I was like, oh, shoot. I chose colors for different months. <laughs> that was crazy. And I was like, I could have put this for a one color challenge. I should have just put, went ahead and put this for the one color challenge. But um, this would have been nice. I used the bus step markers. And um, the little dots I used, the Jelly Roll glitter pen. No, not just um, Jelly Roll, the glitter pen. This came out nice. I really like this one. Just simple. I kept it simple. So that was it. Did I saw anything else in there? I have to work more in this book here. I, this book is so nice. I'm trying to wait till like Christmas time to actually work in this book. Because there's so many. Oh, excuse me. Why keep belting? I'm not the only one that does that. There's a lot of YouTubers. They get on they start belting. And uh, <laughs> Before you start changing and all that. It's like a YouTube thing or something. Alright. I'm probably thirsty. Yeah, so that's all. I just gotta finish this here. I love this book. And you know what? I got this book confused with someone else. There's another... I forgot her name. She has designs just like this. I forgot her name. She's on... I think I have... Do I have one of her books? Yeah, I do have one of her books. Let me see. Oh, I don't put it away. Oh, no, no, I didn't. Here, Alexandra Danneman. That's who I got confused with. Because they almost quite the same. Because I think she got books. Is it her? I'm not even sure I'm confusing myself now. <laughs> but I know it's somebody that has the shapes. Just like that. Oh, she almost forgot a book. Okay, let's go to Circulism Art Book Color by I almost forgot this one. Uh, Mandela by Eclipse, AJ Quino. And I did this page. Finally finished this one. I started and finished. And I used, I don't know if you can see it. Oh, I forgot to take a picture of this and put it on my Instagram. It was for, um, 
I guess I could still put it up there. It was for a tag, I forgot. But I used my glitter gel pens. Perfect. <laughs> so now I can be able to... Oh no, let me fix it because I got to take pictures of these. I'm taking these out and I got to take pictures of these. But um, yeah, so now I get to finish the rest of these. As you see, I'm almost done with this. Regardless. There's more pages than I think it is. About like six or seven pages. So let's go to Circle of Life. Thank you, thank you to someone who I never knew who sent me this book, but thank you. I love this book. I love, 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 love it. So this is the one I did. This was for Sam's Ways Coloring on Instagram. He does, he's doing a tag with this, with um, not only with this book, but with Mel Pomi, the author, if you have this author's books or her books. But I did this page is simple. I use the super tip, I mean the um, brush tip markers and little gel pens here and there. Simple. I really didn't know how to color this. I think I could try to copy this here. And then I went on my own here. The gold is so nice. So I kept it to the gold and purple because the colors matches. Um, let's see what else did I do. I think I, did, I forgot when I did this. I did this little front page here. This is so cute. I just kept it simple. I think I used the Crayolas in this. I need to color these here too. But, um, this book is so beautiful, y'all. And it's not a book you can just sit down and just do in one day. You want to take you two to three days to do this. I'm surprised this hair took me one day. I did this in one day. I was surprised. Or two days. I think it was two days. But, um, because I love this in the Kirby book. Um, I started this page here, as you see. I was done. It's, this one page was simple. I was picking out all the simple pages. <laughs> this was simple. I'm trying to figure out how to color the, the mountain here. But other than that, I use the super tip markers. It's kind of faster with the super, not the super tip, the, um, was it the super tip? I think I did use super tip markers. Yeah, I did use the super tip markers. And I made the, I love doing this, this orange and yellow colors with the sun in the background. Uh, what else? You've probably seen this one, the elephant. This came out beautiful. I can't believe I did this. I had to look at other pictures to like get an idea. I was like, let me just keep it simple. If you don't know how to color something, let me give you a little advice. This is my advice, my opinion. If you don't know how to color a page, let's say you look at this page, you're like, I don't want to color. Her page look better than mine. I'm going to do it like that. Don't do that. Because sometimes I'll be trying to do that. If you want to color the giraffe orange and brown like I did, like, you know, this is the color of giraffe, color it like that. But if you want to use a different color, use a different color. It don't matter. You want to do the background yellow, whatever the colors is, the grass is green, the brown, do it. Because don't stress yourself on trying to make it too perfect. You know, just be you and just color the pages. Background, I just did the color of uh, pastels in the background. I just color the, the leaves all green. I use the um, brush tip markers. Color the ground Brown, I did look at some other pictures so I get an idea. Brown, just this part was because I didn't know what that was like. This is grass, just color that green and use different types of greens. Don't just use one old color green. If you got one color green, color it all green. It's your picture, you make it look nice. It's beautiful in your eyes. So I just kept it simple. And that was it. That was also for Sam's weight coloring on Instagram. I started this when I ain't finished it. <laughs> I think I was testing out the markers. That's why I was testing out the markers to see if, um, and I'm still working on this here. Still working on this. I gotta finish this up. 
I gotta finish that. I started this. Oh, I forgot all about this one. I started this one and finished it. See, like this? You'd be like, oh, how I'm gonna color it? Color all the leaves green first. Put it to the side. Come back to it. You like whatever flowers you want, purple, pink, color it. You wanna do two tone colors, color it. You wanna color that red, color it. If you know these are branches of brown, color it a different type of brown. That's all. The birds, one could be one color, this could be one color, this can be another color. Or you can make two tone birds or three tone. Make it simple for yourself, but you you make it pretty for yourself. That's all. I'm and I'm learning to do this. Oh, I, Oh, damn, I dropped the sticker. I did this a long time ago, when I first got the book. That there. Because I'm learning to just, just color the dog on page. <laughs> I got more pages than I ain't finished. <laughs> so, PDFs. I love my PDFs. I'm trying to figure out, did I miss something? Oh, I did miss something. Before we get to this, hold on. The Mandela Mindfulness book. I got think I got one page left in this book. I did this yellow. Uh, I come back to it. <laughs> I did this purple for my one color challenge. I did this yellow. I was supposed to be doing this all purple. I messed up. I just did it yellow. That's it. I ain't worried about it. The purple here for the one color challenge, different color purples. I don't know if that was pink or purple. I think that was a dark. I don't know. It looks crazy. And outlined it with the um jelly roll. See that? See, I liked how that came out. And this one. I don't know if I should finish this one or just leave it like this. So I'll leave it like this. Or just color in the rest of that. I probably just got to color in there. I got to finish this one. I was supposed to be in purple. And this is the last page I got to do for this book. And this book is complete. I haven't got to that. So I'll do this one this month. So let's go through the PDFs. This is Bloom. Hold on. This is Bloom. Hold on. Oh, it's warm today. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is from Sally Berry's Bloom Coloring Book. This is also for the, the hashtag would be cozy, the flower tag. I used the brush tip markers, kept it simple. Kept it simple. The outline with the pencil. I mean with the crayon. Purple crayon. This here also. I like how this one came out. I like this yellow one. Like a marigold. Bust tip markers. Also. Crayon around the edges. Simple. This is beautiful. This is really bright. I was trying to do a different color and I ended up using the same color. I wanted to do three different colors. And see how I use the green? If you color with the green, you can use different greens. It brightens up, brightens it up a little bit. Now, this one here, I think I did two of these. Hold on. This was, this is Mary Reed's coloring book. Make sure you check her out if you're looking for some kawaii coloring pages. I know I had another one. I did too. Or was it that one? So I did this one. This is the Kawaii. Spooky Kawaii. By Mary Wee. You can check out on um, Etsy. She also has an Instagram account. You can check her out. I used super tip markers. And gel pens. Let's kept it. Uh... Cute but weird. <laughs> I like her pages. I love coloring her pages. So that's it. So this is the squirrel. This is from 
baby animal Ava Brown. Hold on a minute. I think I'm missing some pages. Yeah, baby animals by Ava Brown. There's another one I did. Okay. Yeah, one's a squirrel, one's a koala. Just kept it simple. I did not know what these things was in the background, but I did my best. <laughs> so, these are so cute. I like how bright it is. It's with the brush tip markers. It was almost like I was painting. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I did the best I could on this because I did not know how to color this. But, um, I think these was flowers, leaves in the back. I'm not for sure. But, hey, you color it the way you want to color it. But these came out beautiful. I love, 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 love these. So now I did, I also did some Mother Day pages. This one here is one called I Love My Mom, Rachel Mintz coloring book. This was free samples. A cute mom <laughs> and a baby. <laughs> oh, I like this one here. We did the newspaper. Miss Prissy here. <laughs> this is so cute. I did not know what this was back here. I was trying to figure out what was that column to separate the other buildings. I don't know, I got confused here, so I did the best that I could. Yeah, them both the same nail polish, but a little lipstick makeup trying to be like mom. <laughs> um, okay, hold on. I did this one too. Son helping his mom at the laundromat. I actually created this picture in the back. I put drew this here because it was plain on the wall. So I was like, let me draw a picture in the back. <laughs> like that, I like that. I don't know if I did the cabinets good or not. Maybe I should have did pencil instead of the paint because it's kind of, mm, I don't know. It looks all right though. And then here go the um, meditating, my mother and daughter me and meditating. Because I'm trying to work on doing the skin color. It'll take a minute. I'll get it. Kept it simple. Oh, I didn't do the nails. I forgot to do the nails. <laughs> That's so cute. Then the Happy Mother's Day picture here. The little rabbit. This was so cute. And I also did this for a birthday. I think it was a birthday. Somebody's birthday. I did this for. I think it was Jamie's. Jamie's coloring. Um, loves coloring. She, um, I did this for her hashtag. I think this also one, this one too, I did for the hashtag, for Jamie's hashtag. Let me see, did I write it? No, I didn't write it on there. And I saw this, I was like, oh, let me color this one here, Angelic Mother Elf. I gave them both yellow hair, look the same. <laughs> I surprised myself on this one. And here it was just Punsu, the um, favorite cast of Punsu. And here I did this one here too. I kind of messed up on the skin. I don't like the way, this was the Crayola. I don't know, I don't like the way the Crayola, the skin colors for the Crayolas. I don't like, I wish I would use the favorite cast I don't like the way the, how that came out. I wanted the dark skin, but it didn't come out the way I wanted to. It's like two different colors. I don't know. I got to practice some more. But, um, mostly, I think I did Crayola with this. Or, um, the other pencils I have. The low budget pencils I have. I did this with this. Yeah, so that's good. I did great on that. And one more. This was a coloring book that I made myself on Canva. Because on camera, you can make a little coloring box. This was 2022. I did I forgot all about this. <laughs> this is flowers with a positive affirmative affirmations coloring book. I spelled this wrong. It's supposed to be a... Anyway. That's why I didn't... <laughs> this, is for, this book is for me. I got to fix that. I think I could go back. I don't know why I can fix that. I messed that up. But I color this, I am beautiful. Super tip markers and use the crayons for the background. 
I colored that page. Did I color another page? Oh, I started this one. I colored this page here. And then I started this one here. I am value. So I got to finish that one. And so these just have some regular flowers. I'll probably work on this this month. Some weird flowers I put in here. <laughs> it was something I did for myself. I am wonderful. I am worthy. I'm special. I don't know why I put some other. Some of the other flowers looked hard to color. I don't know why I did that. But I can't believe I spent that long. <laughs> Rushing. All right. And that is. Yeah, that's it. I thought I did some other pages, but I didn't. I guess I didn't. But, um, that's everything for the month of May. Yep, 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 yep. Like I said, I got one more page to do in this book. So, anyway, um, in the next video, I'll let you know what I'll be coloring for the month of, um, April. I mean, for the month of June. That well, I went all the way to April. Month of June. I don't know. Usually, I just like doing random stuff. But um, the coloring, the one color challenge 2023 for the month of June is the color yellow. All right, let me see some beautiful pages. <laughs> I want to see what we could do with the color yellow because I really see people use color. That's why I did yellow because I've really seen anybody use yellow. But um, hope you like the video. Enjoy the video. If you like it, press the like button, subscribe, and leave a comment. And let me know what you think. What was your favorite pages? Let me know what your favorite ones were. Okay. So, everybody. Well, today's Friday. Hopefully, I have the video up by today. Or either I have it up by tomorrow. Um, yeah, so everyone have a wonderful, wonderful day. Peace, love, and blessings.